love knows no depth, no breadth, no distance. Yet all I have to give is volume. Of course, you'll recognize those words from my first book. When I wrote Finding the One, I never imagined that I would experience the joys of chapter 14 so soon. And now we're ready to share that joy with each other and with the rest of the world. We have come so far with troubles and tests sent to try us through the tragedy of close friends, the turbulence of violence, visitors from afar. But now it's time for all of us to put aside our differences once and for all. Now, unlike a wedding, this is unbreakable. And I cannot explain to you how important it is that we have finally found the one. If you are unfortunately unable to attend the ceremony, then you can also leave your messages of goodwill on Julia's profile, the best of which will be read out at the ceremony. Instead of wedding gifts, we would both appreciate it if you made a donation to one of the many charitable organizations that the Hymn of One are affiliated with. We are so happy that you can join with us as we join with each other. So I just saw the cartoon that Charlie posted. Well, actually, I saw it a while ago. And there was a lot of work gone into that. That is a real piece of work. But Charlie, it's not exactly Finding Nemo, is it? This is my life, Charlie. This is what it is. And that was beyond nasty. I know you've been through a lot this year, but that was really spiteful. I know you don't want to marry him. I know you don't want me to marry him. But you could have just phoned me up and told me. What's with the videos? That isn't you. And that isn't what friends do. What I'd really like, and I would be really upset if, if you weren't there. So I'd really like you to be there. I'm sorry if I've screwed up. But I want you there no matter what. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> oh, life on the old rock and roll, eh? Nothing really much to do except watch the online cat fight between Charlie and Jules. Have you been watching it? <laughs> Looks like the fur's really flying. Nice. It's even worse than me and Captain Cult Boy last week. I'm not complaining though. Nothing quite like a girly cat fight. I like it. Jules' wedding should be a laugh too. I reckon them hib of warners really know how to party. 
and, and Charlie, I, I think you should, I think you should reconsider. I really think you should come with me. Come on, it'll be hilarious. You don't want to miss Jules condemning herself to a life of boredom forever, do you? You know, you could even be my date. Can't see Steve going after everything that's happened. And to tell you the truth, I don't reckon I'll be copping off with any him of one bridesmaids. <laughs> oh, come on, it'll be, it'll be great. We can go and get pissed and watch those abstinent freaks losing their minds. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leopold, hello, sir. Hello, are you ready to go to the job centre? I was born ready, mate, you know that. Good, because I really need a job, quick, sharp. I can't even afford a wedding present for Julia and Rupert. <laughs> Sod that. My attendance is gifting up. Hey, don't think my attendance is going to be that valuable. Hey, I've got a really good idea. Oh, here we go. No, right, right. Why don't we go into the wedding video business? Oh my God, you're a genius. What, really? No, you're too, come <laughs> on. It's been a bit of a weird week. I really regret putting that animation of Jules online. Anyway, it's her last night of freedom tonight. So I want to make sure that we send her off in style. Julia, I just want to say that I wish you and Rupert all the happiness in the world. Yeah, well, I hope you and sexy Rupert have a lovely, lovely unity. <laughs> but congratulations, you're getting married! Oh! I like him so much! He likes it. He doesn't, he doesn't. We were right there, you know, we were right there. No, he doesn't give a shit about me anymore. <laughs> Um, <laughs> outfit oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no <laughs> what do you want baby? Uh, wrong count? Yeah, do you need a count? count? Yeah. I'm arresting you for being drunk I'm not drunk, he's drunk Do you like to he's come drunk. with me? Charlie! Oh. Later, Charlie. I'm not, I'm not drinking <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You're too gammy, you dirty dog. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, girls. All right. There you go. There you go, Meryl. How about you start taking your clothes off now? All right, easy. You shut up, you. That's a special woman coat. And that is a champagne. Thank you. If I'm honest, I do know how Charlie feels. Maybe it is a bit too soon to be getting married. But it feels right. It does. <laughs> Lauren! <laughs> you should have done all those shots if you can't handle it! <sighs> oh, so much for Steve. Come on in, little one, sit down, I'll get you a cab. Oh. Oh. Hi, can somebody get me a cab, please? Right. If that was the hen party, imagine what the wedding's gonna be like. Mm. Honey, you alright? <coughs> uh, 